Oh man, it's time for another one of those cult classics. Today, we're doing Twister. Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Rewind, Relive, and Review. I'm Rick. This is the show where I talk about movies, music, television. Today, I want to talk to you about the movie Twister. This is a cult classic. This is a great movie. Those of you who know, know. Those of you who don't, take a listen. All right, guys. Take a trip back with me to 1996. We're watching Twister, the American disaster film directed by Jan de Bon. This movie was from a screenplay by Michael Crichton and Anne Marie Martin. It was produced by Crichton, Kathleen Kennedy, yes, that Kathleen Kennedy from Star Wars fame, and Ian Bryce with Steven Spielberg, Walter Parks, Lori McDonald, and Gerard Mullen. They all served as executive producers. The film stars Helen Hunt, Bill Paxton, Jamie Gertz, and Carrie Ellis, and it focuses on a group of storm chasers trying to deploy a tornado research device during a severe outbreak in Oklahoma. Now, Twister was officially released in theaters in May of 1996, and it's notable for being the first film to be released on DVD in the United States. Interesting fact, I did not know that. The movie has a runtime of 114 minutes, and the budget was somewhere between 88 and 92 million, and to give you an idea how big of a hit this was, at the box office, it made $495.7 million. Now, for the plot, back in 1969, Joe Thornton and her family take shelter from an approaching tornado. However, her father is killed when the tornado tears the shelter door off. 27 years later, Joe is a meteorologist and she's obsessed with chasing tornadoes and leading a ragtag team of storm chasers. She's on the brink of a divorce from a retired storm chaser turned weatherman husband, Bill Harding, who's played by Paxton, and Bill travels to rural Oklahoma to get Joe to sign their divorce papers. Also introducing his new fiance, therapist Melissa Reeves. Though Bill has no intention of sticking around, he's intrigued by Dorothy, an invention he conceptualized but never saw realized. Dorothy would be revolutionary for storm research but it has to be deployed very close to a dangerous storm. Joe's team rushes off to chase a developing thunderstorm, but Bill and Melissa are forced to pursue them when Joe mistakenly packs the papers. On the way, Bill runs into Jonas Miller, a rival storm chaser, and is forced off the road by Jonas's team. While getting his Dodge fixed at a repair shop, he discovers that Jonas has stolen his idea for a Dorothy device and plans to deploy his corporate sponsored version first and received sole credit. Now enraged, Bill agrees to give Joe one day for her team to successfully deploy Dorothy. The team pursues a developing F1 tornado, this time in Joe's Jeep. In a fit of impulsiveness, Bill maneuvers the truck into a ditch with the tornado gaining ground speed. It changes direction towards them and destroys a barn and Bill crashes the truck into a bridge. They seek shelter under the bridge as the tornado destroys the Jeep and Dorothy won with it. However, with more storms developing, Bill uses his own truck and the team pursue an intensifying F2 tornado. Once again, they encounter Jonas's team, but Bill outsmarts them and he accurately predicts a sudden change in the tornado's direction. While driving on the road, heavy rain forces the team to stay back while Bill drives the truck towards the lake. The team finds the two water spouts with one of them splitting into two. Two of the water spouts catch their truck and thrash it about violently before disappearing. Bill and Joe are unscathed, but Melissa is left terrified by the ordeal. The team talk Joe into visiting her Aunt Meg's house in a nearby small town of Waukita, Oklahoma, and over steak and eggs, Bill explains Joe's childhood story to Melissa, while Aunt Meg realizes Joe is still in love with Bill and advises her to stay with him. The team hears on the radio that there's a developing F3 and they scramble to pursue it. Joe and Bill encounter the tornado on the hill and are hit with hail and debris. The tornado dissipates but quickly recycles and knocks over power lines in which one knocks Dorothy too out of the truck. 
With Dorothy too ruined and the truck badly damaged, Bill retreats against Joe's wishes. An argument ensues causing Joe to break down and reveal she became a storm chaser to prevent what happened to her father from happening again. Bill reveals that he still has feelings for her, not realizing that their entire conversation is overheard by Melissa over the CB radio. That night, the crew repair their vehicles in a shop next to a drive-in, screening The Shining, and it's there where Joe finally agrees to sign the divorce papers. However, a fast-moving half-mile wide F4 tornado forces the team to take shelter in a nearby garage before proceeding to head directly towards Wakita. Before they leave to try to rescue Aunt Meg, Melissa severs her relationship with Bill and wishes him the best. At Aunt Meg's house, Bill and Joe are inspired by Aunt Meg's wind vanes to add 10 wings to Dorothy 3 and 4's sensors, making them more aerodynamic. The next day, the team pursue a massive, mile-wide F5 tornado. Bill and Joe attempt to deploy Dorothy 3, but it gets destroyed by an airborne tree, and they discover that it's too light. Meanwhile, Jonas attempts to deploy his device, but drives too close to the storm. Bill and Joe try to warn him, via radio, but Jonas ignores them and he and his driver Eddie are soon killed by the storm. With Dorothy 4 mounted in the truck's bed, the two sacrifice Bill's Dodge by placing it on cruise control and jumping out at the last second. With the truck as an effective anchor, Dorothy 4 is successfully deployed with positive results. However, Joe and Bill are then forced to outrun the tornado on foot after it changes the direction. They attempt to hide in a barn, but it's filled full of sharp tools, and the weakening F5 destroys the barn, and the two barely escape. They enter a farm shed, and after strapping themselves to deep pipes, they get a close view of the eye, and the tornado finally dissipates. Finally, they rekindle their relationship and celebrate their success with the rest of the crew. Now, I was going to mention that this was one of the first DVDs that I had, and now that I've realized this was the first DVD produced, that means a little bit more. For the longest time, especially before HD Blu-ray and regular Blu-rays came along, to have a DVD as a benchmark for your home theater meant something. And Twister, for my earlier home theater setups, was one of my benchmark DVDs. And you can tell that this one is an older DVD it is a what they call diggy pack which means it's basically cardboard and lightweight plastic no jewel case the inside has your basic c indexes and the plastic portion houses the dvd the disc itself is a standard dvd and the extras that came back then were behind the scenes documentaries anatomy of a twister audio commentaries, uh, director commentary, visual effects, and a music video from Van Halen, Humans Being. This DVD is in widescreen and it is a 5.1 surround sound, DTS, and in many ways, this still makes a very good benchmark for home theater. Now, for those of you lucky enough to have it on Blu-ray, you're probably still using it in home theater displays. So I'm not gonna go over packaging or presentation with this because this is very old. Uh, you won't find packaging like this anymore. It's basically Blu-ray or you're gonna stream it somewhere. But picture-wise, I would give this, on a scale of four, I would give it a 3.5, even though it is a DVD. The picture was still that good. It's still stunning. Sound, I would give it also a 3.5 because when you load that DTS track on there, oh my goodness, it still sounds great. When you hear the roar of those storms and those tornadoes, oh, it's epic. Now this is a cult classic, so a lot of people who don't know about this may not want to own it, but I do suggest that you at least stream it and watch it. Twister is that good of a movie. And it shows 
with good writing and good effects, you can make a very good movie. All right, guys, so that's Twister. And again, cult classic, one of my faves. Let me know what you think about this movie. As always, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure that you hit the bell for notifications. That way you never miss an episode. I got more content coming. Stay positive. Stay blessed. I'll see you soon.